So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the size of our antenna because bigger is better, uh, especially when it comes to antennas because the size of the antenna is directly related to the gain. Well, if you, if you have an efficient antenna. And so uh, I, I started this project because I, I, I ran across the article on, the we on a, some website where they uh, had some pattern to make a, a corner reflector antenna. And uh, I built it, and then I tried testing it on sources, and I realized that it was, you know, the antenna was only about this big, and it was uh, not directional at all. I, I point the antenna toward a source, and I point it away from it, and you couldn't even tell where the source was because uh, the antenna was too small. It was about the size of a wavelength. You actually want the antenna to the 2.4 gigahertz. The wavelength is about this big. And you want the antenna to be much bigger than your wavelength, or you're not going to get any gain out of it, or directionality. So let's measure the size of our antenna. So it looks like it's about 62 centimeters wide by uh, 26 centimeters tall. And so this is the aperture of the antenna. The radio waves will come in, and they'll be focused down to uh, the, the uh, receiving dipole here. And that will increase your signal quite a bit. And it will also only take radio waves coming from this particular direction. It will uh, reject radio waves coming from the back. So you can have some kind of directionality to tell where your, your sources are. And um, you know, I, I, I said, well, I, I like the corner reflector. Well, I said, well, you know, I used to work at Raytheon and design antennas for Raytheon, so I'm going to design my own antenna. A corner reflector is easy, easy to design. It's, it's just basically uh, three, three different planes brought together, and it reflects the radio waves, kind of focuses them down to where the dipole is in the center. And, uh, you know, what's better than simple, right? So we're going to test this guy. Here's our Kali Linux tablet. It doesn't have to be that time. Um, well, anything to measure the RF will be good. Okay. And then, uh... rotate the screen and so we're going to Airmon NG start WLAN 1 okay and uh, we have to kill some processes So we'll say, uh, kill five, eight, five. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, okay, so we'll do arrow dump ng mon zero. Okay, and uh, we'll look for our, our Wi-Fi router, and so we can see the power levels, and uh, we can see the names of the routers, so we can locate our router and start taking measurements of it. Okay, here we'll test all the units together. We have the uh, Kali tablet, the D-Link, and the uh, uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi antenna for the uh, Kali device. And if you look on here, uh, default is the router that we're looking at. And it has uh, pretty pretty high power levels, higher than all the rest of them. 
and so we're testing it out to make sure that we can communicate with it. Dr. James, and today we're going to take some measurements with uh, our uh, Kali Linux tablet here. And we have a TP link, normal dipole, and we want to uh, compare these measurements to uh, basically a big corner reflecting antenna. We want to compare the gains to see how much we can improve our long distance uh, receiving of signals. And we'll look at the uh, the, the dB and power and the antenna gain patterns of, of this this antenna versus the uh, the big antenna, and see how much of an improvement we, we, that we can get, and uh, see how we can improve our distance with uh, receiving Wi-Fi signals. Like let's say you want to try to set up a Wi-Fi receiver in your backyard someplace and it's far away, then you could get some directional antennas and improve your distance, get your signal to noise ratio up. Anyway, let's take some measurements and find out how this system's going to behave. Okay, now if we look at default, default it's actually way down now. Default is uh, what minus 70 or so. Okay. Got to be careful because the, the positions will jump around, but it's way down now because we are getting pretty far away. The other antenna is way down range down there. Okay. Okay. For the antenna patterns, we're going to set up a uh, compass, marking out the different angles on the table with little pieces of tape in the center point, and our uh, antenna Wi-Fi router downrange that we're going to try to communicate with. Wi-Fi router. And uh, it's operating. Ready to go. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try the big antenna. So we will take our big antenna and we'll line it up along with the marks on the table. And uh, we will hook up put our same antenna inside of the reflector. And so what the reflector is going to do is it's going to take this whole big area Instead of just having a tiny area where the uh, RF will be received, it will take all this big area and it reflects it down to our antenna so we can improve our directionality. It will make it more directional in, this, in, the, in the direction that the antenna is looking at. And also it will improve the, the, the amount of signal that you get, the gain. And so let's take some measurements with this and see how it behaves. Okay, for our first set of measurements, we're going to have the back lined up to the tape mark in the back on the table. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's there. And then we'll move the front around. We have marked out a bunch of different uh, positions so we can measure the degrees of the antenna, which direction it's pointing. And uh, we will take some measurements 
of the signal from downrange, the D-Link. Okay, now if we look at the uh, default, it is uh, in the 50s and 40s, minus 50s, minus 40s. Make sure it's not jumping around on us. There's fit 40, 56, so it's high, quite a bit higher signal. Okay, and we'll keep on rotating the antenna to different angles. Okay, still rotating the antenna around. Get all the different angles. So we can get a good antenna pattern. We'll also take some measurements of the antenna point in, in the exact opposite direction. So we can see uh, how much it rejects the signal or what the back lobe is. Okay. Let's take a tour of the antenna. Here we have the top view. The antenna with the uh, dipole, the monopole at the at the corner. It's about a quarter wavelength from each of the sides. We have the ground plane at the bottom, and our receiver going into our Kelly Linux tablet. Pretty nice antenna. Okay.